If I may ask, what do you miss most about him? What do I miss most about him? I think his gentleness. He was always someone you could rely on. Dennis had a rise from the East End of London into the, I guess, more than guarantee mailroom into being one of the prominent bankers in the World Financial Center here in New York. But he uh, stood out because, well, he was a competitive banker. Dennis was a, an amazing human being, a, a real person, a real, a real friend, a loyal person. And I think also I would add that he was one of the, the leaders of the good old days where you have a person with decency, integrity, and he would make people follow. I think Dennis's legacy, at least in the uh, financial world, was to carry out that doing first-class business in a first-class way dictum that J.P. Morgan had uh, issued many decades earlier. He embodied it. There wasn't any question about what he stood for, what the bank stood for, and uh, that doesn't exist very many places. He had a great respect for everybody, and I mean everybody. So he would always listen carefully to everyone, and he had no airs and graces, and, and that's what I admired about him. Gardening was always uh, of importance to us. Never lived anywhere where you couldn't walk out into a garden. This particular garden creates such a, a tremendous bond between uh, the UK and obviously now the Commonwealth as well. So um, I think he would be truly happy now and very proud that uh, Her Majesty and Prince Philip came over to open it. <laughs>